What's up guys, Rana Razor here with another tech video for guys today and today we're going to check out the Autobox Strata folio case for the all new iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPhone and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So I've reviewed the Strata case probably since uh, they first introduced it two or three years ago and it has been one of my favorite uh, folio style cases for the iPhone. So the case comes in your traditional frustration free Autobox packaging slides easily out like so and the first and only thing that we get is the strata folio case itself so the strata folio case is uh, one of my favorite cases just because it offers so much more for such a better price than apple's 150 plus dollar leather folio that they have themselves so here we have my iphone 11 pro max it's a pretty easy case to install you just go button side first and pops in place Taking the phone out isn't too difficult. Once again, I usually just pick a corner, such as the bottom, grab my microfiber cloth so I don't scratch the phone with my nails, and kind of use a leverage motion to pop it out, which you can see it comes out pretty easily. So not a very difficult case to uh, take your phone in and out of. So taking a quick overview of this case and what it has to offer, starting off with the top here, I do have a minimalistic flat leather folio flap, very nice stitching all the way around the border and also wraps around the back as well. And just like every other Strata case that I've reviewed, it still has the magnetic lock, which you can see here keeps the flap in place and also this little extra leather material makes it easy to open and close it. One thing I like about the front here that even the Apple one doesn't have is a cutout for the earpiece. So you can still talk on the phone without having to open the flap or bend it backwards. You can keep it closed like this as your earpiece and your mic are still accessible. Moving towards the inside of the case, we do have a very nice, fairly soft lined interior. You can also see that there's not one, but two card slots. Not necessarily a wallet replacement, but if you're just gonna go out for the night and you need your ID, a bit of cash or a debit card, should be more than enough room for that. Moving towards the case portion here, this is a full-size case, significantly um, more protective than the Apple one, which you can see by how thick the bezels are. Very nice rubber material that wraps around the entire border. And I also have an edge-to-edge -edge tempered glass screen protector on here, which the case does, uh, does not interfere with, uh, nor does it interfere with the locking mechanism of the flap. On the side, we have the OtterBox logo stamped on the magnetic lock, a cover for the power button, Covers for the volume rockers on the other side, and they still have a nice clicky feeling when you press on them. Small little cuddle for the vibrate and ringer switch. And you can see by the indentations on the flap here, when you have it closed, you can still access the uh, volume rockers even with the leather piece on. On the bottom, you have three individual cuddles for the lightning port, stereo speakers, and mic. And finally on the back, you can see once again the leather does wrap around the back here with nice stitching uh, that surrounds the leather material. A precision cutout for your triple lens camera. And the combination of the leather and the rubber material that wraps around the uh, sides here do give the case a good amount of grip. Overall guys, once again I'm pretty happy with the new Strata case for the iPhone 11. Like I mentioned, ever since Apple introduced the folio case, for the iPhone 10, I've always been saying the Arbox Strata case is such a better buy because it's nearly half the price of the Apple one and offers much more protection and functionality than the Apple leather folio. It's very well made backed by Arbox's known draw protection. And this very nice genuine premium leather material that Arbox uses certainly gives this case a premium look. Just a quick comparison between the Apple Folio on the top and the Strata on the bottom, you can see the Strata case really isn't that much more bulkier if at all compared to the Apple Folio. The Apple Folio case does have a thicker folio flap and actually holds a bit more stuff than the Strata case. That being said, the Strata case does have a much more protective case, uh, which is why it looks a little bit thicker than the Apple one. For me though, the biggest advantage with the Strata case is that it also protects the bottom, whereas the Apple one does not. The only thing I would say that's missing on the Strata case that the Apple one does have is the automatic unlock and lock screen feature. So when you open the folio flap on the Apple one, it unlocks the screen, whereas with the OtterBox one, you don't really get that feature. That being said, I definitely get the Strata case over the Apple Folio just because you get much more protection of the Strata case. And in my opinion, the protection is definitely worth it over that one little extra feature that the Apple Folio has with that unlock screen feature. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about this case, the only thing I wish Otterbox uh, put on the back here is some sort of felt or soft material just so when you put your iPhone in, it touches against something soft rather than hard plastic. So that's my pretty much only gripe with the Strata case. The only other con I can mention is that the Otterbox Strata case does not have a stand feature 
where a lot of other folio cases where you can actually prop up the iPhone. You can see the uh, flap here is fused to the entire back of the case so you don't have that uh, feature. So that's something that I wouldn't necessarily say it's a deal breaker, but for those of you who like to watch a movie or something on your iPhone in like a little stand position, unfortunately you don't get that with the Strata case. In conclusion guys, if you are in the market for a leather folio case for your brand new iPhone 11, 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, and you don't want to spend all that money on an Apple leather folio case, you definitely can't go wrong with the Otterbox Strata Folio. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments about this case, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.